coming up. I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack at the age of 34. You do it every day, 10 times a minute, 600 times an hour. Do it wrong, it can kill you. Oh, I'm just stressed out, <laughs> my goodness. We live in a fast-paced society, so today's show is all about new ways to cure everyday problems in no time. And Tammy's Dilemma is one we can all relate to. I'm talking about stress. I'm a single mom of two kids, recently going through a divorce, and I've never felt this stressed out in my life. You kind of feel like you're on a roller coaster, just constantly going. Yeah. Lauren, don't kick him. <laughs> the kids are climbing up your legs. There's no break. You know, when the kids argue, you can't just say, hey, honey, can you take the kids for a second? Mommy needs to decompress. No, it's since I'm done with my job, I'm picking them up from school, doing dinner, brushing teeth, bathing, books, bedtime. Ah, and the day all starts all over again. The other day, my heart felt like it was just pounding out of its chest. I could barely catch a breath. And I'm like, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack at the age of 34. This is the first time in my life where I've ever questioned my health. My grandfather has heart disease. His mom died of heart disease. So I definitely want to find out what I can do to make sure that I don't head down that same path. Tammy is here along with cardiologist Dr. John Kennedy to help shatter the stereotype about who's at risk for a heart attack. I want everyone at home to pay attention because none of us are immune from a potential heart attack. And you're the picture of health. Everything seems great. You don't smoke. You exercise regularly. But let's talk about what scares you in terms of what you just saw in that tape piece. Yeah, what really worries me about this, Travis, is that Tammy is this healthy woman. She exercises. She diets. She cruises through her life at breakneck speed. She's balancing her career life with her, her family life. And she's stressed out, just like many of the viewers that are out there today. And stress, I've studied it, is really, really bad for your heart. Heart disease is the number one killer for women in the United States. Wow. And it's the day in, day out stressors, stressing with your kids, all that stuff can add up over time to in your, increase your risk of a heart attack. There's two kinds of stress. There's acute stress, which is sudden stress, and then there's this long-term stress. And I'm going to show you examples of both of those and how they affect our heart. So acute stress, it's this sudden stress. Imagine walking down the street and you hear the backfire of a car. And boom, it's the sudden startling of stress. It's sort of like, sort of like that. And if you're healthy, you're healthy, you know, it usually doesn't affect us. And the long-term stress, the day-in, day-out stress, the kind of stress where you have a difficult commute to work. You're driving to work, you get stuck in traffic, you're worried about being late. The kind of stress that you have in a difficult, challenging relationship every day, that actually is bad for you because your stress response, your fight or flight response is turned on all the time. And these stress hormones that are flooding our veins are actually causing damage to our delicate heart tissue. And actually, I'll show you another example of how this works. Our arteries, okay, the inner artery of our, of our, uh, our arteries that feed our heart muscle, imagine that this is the inner, inner lining and I, and I coat it with this spray butter, okay? And imagine how this spray butter is just like the cholesterol and the plaque buildup in the arteries. It weakens the blood vessel, okay? And now imagine how this is a water pick and how, and how the blood flow is really kind of flowing through the artery. And even though it's damaged, it's able to withstand, withstand the pressure of this water. Now, when we get stressed, our heart rate goes up, our blood pressure goes up, and the blood becomes much faster and can actually tear this blood vessel. And when it tears and puts a hole in it, we actually, our body tries to repair itself and form a clot. And when we form a clot, it blocks blood flow. The blood flow doesn't flow to the muscle, and we actually have a heart attack. Oh, I'm just wow. stressed out. <laughs> My goodness. This brings up such a great point. I want to talk a little bit about why we need to learn how to control our chronic stress and how we can do that. Because Dr. Kennedy actually helped set up a stress challenge for Tammy to show us exactly how these common everyday activities you don't always think twice about can take their toll. Life can feel like an obstacle course. And in fact, today, we're standing in our own stress obstacle course. We're going to have you bake some cookies, make a dinner reservation, vacuum up any mess that should arise, and fold the laundry. And all the while, we want you to tend to your baby. And you're going to have 10 minutes to complete all these tasks. I'm going to be measuring your vital signs with this special device called the Zephyr Bioharness. What she doesn't know is there's five additional distractions that are going to get in her way. Ready, set, go. All right, let's do it. Her body is going to be flooded with stress hormones. It's out of control already, all right. 
my heart rate's gone from 80 at rest to 140. She's on the second task. You're being so good. Hi, can I make a reservation for tonight for three at seven? Are there any children in your party? No kids. Three adults. Outside would be great, thank you. A booth, please. My name is Tammy. Can I have a last initial? R. And you can see how she got a little frustrated. She's starting to feel the pressure. Woo, reservations even take a long time. Q confetti. And now she's less than halfway through, and her heart rate now is up in the 150s. Q delivery. Hello, delivery. Oh, hi. What's my second delivery? Here. Here. Right, right. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you very you. much. I'm so sorry about that. This heart rate of 160 is equivalent to what you should have a heart rate when you're running on a treadmill for 20, 30 minutes. Cue the baby crying. Our heart rate's up in the red zone. It's up in the 170s now. And you can also see that our temperature's going up to 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, the cookies smell like they're burning. She's got like 30 seconds left. <laughs> My new package is wet. Ah, this is a typical day. Hello? Three, two, one. Feeling, were you feeling the stress? You know, I didn't think I would. I figured it's not real life. It's not going to be stressful. But all those things that got added in during the day, that is a typical day. It mimics exactly what you go through when you're not expecting those things to be added in. And it is stressful. It's overwhelming. And you know what doesn't lie? What your heart rate was, yeah. which just shows that you had stress hormones running through your body. And what's interesting, you know, we usually talk about adrenaline when it comes to that acute stress response. But cortisol, we think of that as the chronic stress hormone and you actually measured your cortisol level during that experiment or just after, right? That's right. And uh -oh. when you were at your peak stress level, when you were cruising through your obstacle course, we measured your stress hormone level, level cortisol, mm -hmm. and it was skyrocketing. It was really, really, really high. We all so seem so chronically stressed. A lot of things can play a role. What if I told you four out of five Americans are breathing incorrectly? That's pretty shocking. Well, Dr. Kennedy actually has a simple solution it can make a huge difference and actually decrease your stress cortisol levels. So the technique is called the breathe technique. B is for the beginning, okay? So I want you to get comfortable. I want you to put your back against the, the sofa. And then R is for relax. And I want you to take seven deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Your heart rate's already down to 89 beats per minute. The E in breathe is for envision. And I want you to visualize a really familiar hiking path. And each step you take, you become more and more relaxed. You see a waterfall. You see this beautifully flowing river. The fourth step in breathe is A, for apply. And I want you to apply how all of these heart healing metaphors are like your heart parts. The waterfall is like your strong, powerful heart pump. The river is like your smoothly lined, beautifully flowing arteries and how your heart is this perfectly functioning machine. T is for treat or therapy. I want you to look forward to this exercise. This is therapeutic. It's like, it's like going to the spa. H in breathe is for healing. You'll see how your heart rate is lower and your blood pressure is lower. And then E in breathe is for end. As you feel really relaxed, open your eyes. Our heart and brain are actually in constant communication to stop stress in its tracks. Tammy, before I ask you, audience members, did you all feel a little more relaxed after that tape versus the first one that we saw? I, I feel so peaceful right now. How did, how did you feel after that? You know, it was amazing. I mean, such a simple thing to do, just breathe. But yet, do we actually take the time to do it? And especially when Dr. Kennedy told me how to breathe right and, you know, take 15 minutes per day to do it. I'm like, oh, OK, sure, um, whatever. And then when he actually taught me how to do it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I really feel relaxed right now. You feel so calm. And so what's really cool is that you were measuring physiologic responses because you felt more at peace and you did a repeat cortisol measurement. Yeah, we actually measured your heart rate and blood pressure after she did the breathe technique and it was much lower. And what was even more compelling was that your cortisol level was 20% lower after doing the breathe technique. Wow, that's wild. That is amazing. Hmm. And I think that there is take home for everyone, which is no matter who you are, you could be at risk for heart disease, and the better job that we can do to keep our stress at bay, the less damage we're doing to our arteries when we don't even realize it. Well, Tammy, thank you so very much. Thank you.
And Dr. Kennedy, thank you, my friend. And in fact, Dr. John Kennedy's the 15-minute heart cure book and CD. Everyone's going home with one.